Okay, welcome to my channel. This is My Sky Watch 2, and this is part two of the uh, the Goodwill Jewelry Jar opening. The last item we saw on the part one was this gold filled little chain. It is broken, but it's a really pretty chain. So I'm going to look into having it fixed and um, using it with some piece of old pendant. See, the next item we have here is this chain. It's either very tarnished or it is very tarnished because I know it's, I think it's silver. It looks like it's got the silver tag. I need to get the knot out of it too. Yeah, it's not magnetic. It is marked silver up in here, but it's very tarnished, so I don't know if we're going to be able to see it that side yeah, it's very difficult to see but it's 925 and I have a knot to get out but that's that won't be a problem and the next piece I have is this little stretchy bracelet and these are cold so I think they're quartz I am going to test them to see if they are. The next is an older set. It's pearls, faux pearls, and um, acrylic black beads made to look like onyx and pearl. It's got a spring ring clasp. It's got four strands. I love the end cap. They use the pearl like that. And then the necklace, it has the matching necklace. Again, a nice spring ring clasp, and this looks copperish to me, so it might have been gold over copper, I don't know. Yeah, it's got a little bit of magnetism, and I don't know if that's from the spring ring. Now that doesn't, so I don't know. That's a beautiful set, though, and beautiful pearls. Very nice. The next item was, ah, this is on our South Carolina flag, the palm tree and the crescent moon. Some people argue that this was the crescent that they wore during the Civil War. But it's gold tone and this is silver tone. It's on this beautiful chain. This chain is silky as can be and I kind of thought it might be silver, but it's Mark Monet, so. It does have some very light pull to it. So I don't know. It could have a lot of silver in it. But it's not marked silver. And it's in great shape. Very pretty chain. Most of the time you see this type things on a cord. <clears throat> so I think somebody added it to that chain. It's an older chain too. And then we had this beautiful spring ring class, diamond cut, rope chain. See it sparkle? Love that. It's slightly magnetic though. See? But it's as silver looking as it can be. It's a beautiful chain. So this, lot, this jar had some nice chains in it for sure. Here's an India, a made in India. It's got it right in here. The outer part here is magnetic. The inner part is not. See, there's no sticking, but here, the ends. And that is not sticking. So I don't know if they strengthen the ends and the rest is silver. It's something I'm going to have to check because it is not sticking anywhere. There's no marks. It could be silver over brass or copper though too. So I don't know. I'm going to check it and see what I get. Give y'all a closer look. Very pretty imprint on these uh, 
center ones here. High speed work and rope look and a lot of good design in that. This one, I was so excited and I did see this through the box. And these are as cold as can be. I don't know if they're metal. Yeah, they're not magnetic. They're cold. This is not so cold. But I think, I don't know if this is turquoise or not. But it looks like that spidery turquoise. But I won't guarantee it. So y'all tell me what you think. It has the look. Definitely has the look. But whether it's real or not, I don't think so. I just, it's so smooth, you know, to me. I guess they can polish them smooth. I don't see white. So anyway, anybody knows, let me know. Love this. This is gunmetal. It's a clamper bracelet. It's in great shape. I don't know if that's gunmetal or if that. It's not magnetic, so I don't think it's. Uh, it's so cold. It's very cold. I don't know if it's hematite or not. It's very cold. Very pretty. But I'm sure it's just gunmetal. I don't know. I think it's gunmetal. I'm going to go with gunmetal. And then we have this other cute, cute, cute clamper bracelet. The polka dots and the bow with the heart. Very cute. And the pink color. And this is a light pink. Kind of, this kind of reminds me of Kate Spade-ish. But there was no Kate Spade in there. But I do like it. Very cute. Then we had this rhinestone. Not rhinestone. These are acrylic fasted beads. Stretchy bracelet. And these little acrylic beads. Bracelet. I'm going to put both of these in the craft lot. It was this bangle. It's got the rhinestones on each end. Four, four or five sections. This feels like it's lined with the metal. But I'm not sure what this is. But it's very pretty. It's a nice bangle. Probably look good with some of these other bangles. Mm, let's see. Let's just try the goldish bangles with it. Let's see what it does. What kind of look it gives it. Mm. Let's see what this looks like. There we go. It's kind of cute. You can brighten it up with some silver too. Anyway, that's a pretty one. We have this little stretchy that's in uh, silver and gunmetal color. A little disc. Oh yeah, I think it's stretched out. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. But those are in great shape. Here's the underside. Just needs to be restrung. These are silver beads. They're not cleaned. They are The um, clasp here is marked. Let's see if I can... Get it shown on here or not maybe my fingernails are getting too long but it's not magnetic and they just need to be cleaned up 
very tarnished. Here's another little silver tone necklace with another knot I got I have to get out. It's marked in here. 925. Just a plain necklace. Plain chain that needs. It was this little marcasite ring. A little swirl. It is marked. It says sterling. No, 925. It's a cute little ring. It was this little bracelet. These unique beads and little pearls in here. Blue, green, and yellow. That's pretty coloring. Now, I don't know. This is so big. I guess it could be a bracelet for somebody with a bigger arm. Or it could be an anklet. One or the other. Very pretty. Here's these little wooden beads. I mean, paper beads. I love these things. And the beads in between these little sea beads are uh, copper colored. Very pretty in that brown. Very well done. Here's another little bangle I missed. Here's this little um, spiky bracelet. Definitely has some wear on it. It has come through to the coffer. Yeah, it's not magnetic, but the copper's showing through in places. So it's silver over copper. It's got a real rugged look. This is one of my favorite bracelets I found. It's uh, Stella and Dot. There's their tag. Stella and Dot, and then they have the little stone on the other side. It's a lobster claw clasp. But look at these stations of rhinestones or CZs. They're, I think these are CZs. And they are beautiful. Nope, they're rhinestones. I see the foil on the back. Very pretty. I just thought that was a beautiful bracelet. Let me undo it. And show you. If I had it fastened, it would look like that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Oh, and here's the back. Look how well made the back is. Looks brand new. It's beautiful. We had a little cord with a cross on it. That's not magnetic, so I don't know if that's silver or gold. The cross is broken. Um, I'm going to put it in the craft lot because I don't know what this is, and somebody might want to use that and putting a pendant on. Here's another little cuff bracelet with the braided design. There's no signature. Looks very nice. It looks silver. I don't think it is silver. Well, could be silver over copper because it's so heavy. That's when I'm almost sure that, yes, I can see copper coming through right here on the underside. So that's a nice bracelet. 
This was an unusual clamper. I had not seen anything like this. It's got little stations of rhinestones. It's oval shaped, so I can't twist it around my hand. Well, I can, but yeah, no. Kind of looks like the Fleur de Lis and the Maltese Cross. I believe it was marked on the inside. It is. He's marked. Rock and Republic. So that is a fantastic little find. Here's a little beaded ankle ankle bracelet that makes noise. Jingles. Seed bead. It's got a nice lobster claw clasp. Here's this little, this looks like an old silver pendant. It's got a little blue stone in there. And it's been put on this light, lightweight chain that's broken. Like I said, I haven't tested it, but it's not sticking. There's the back side of the pendant. I don't see any marks. Here's the front side. But I believe this is a piece of silver, so I'm going to test it. And maybe put it on a silver chain. Unfortunately, we had a single silver earring with a topaz and a darker blue stone. I don't know what it is. It's Mark 925. I guess you could turn this in and try to make a pendant out of it. It was just a pretty necklace. This is pretty heavy. I don't know if it's enameled on both sides. It is marked. Looks like LCI Liz Claiborne Incorporated. Beautiful snake chain. LC again on the tag. Needs a little cleaning. I don't know if that's cleaning or wear that's needed there. Looks like almost cleaning to me. See if I got anything here. I can see if I can shine that up real quick. Well, that will answer a question. Okay. Thank you for bearing with me. I know some of you don't like that empty time. But yes, it needed cleaning up. Looks much better now. So that's a beautiful Liz Claiborne piece. The necklace is very long. It's a beautiful snake chain. It's over some. As you can see. Yeah, it's very long. It's probably, let's guesstimate at that's 12 inches already with another 5 inches. That makes it 17 and double that is 34 inches. Very pretty. The next one is this little necklace. These are acrylic pieces. It's got a lobster claw tag with a Beat it in. It's in good shape. Here's a little pendant. I'm believing this is artisan made. Here's the back. Looks like it's got a signature on it. 
we can get it to show up. It's hard to see with this pen. Now let's see if we can see the mark on there. Looks like AH. It's interesting how this pen, it goes straight down on the top and then you just, you know, do it over like that. I don't know if these are stones, what kind of beads. I don't know much about this at all. It's not magnetic. I believe it is silver, it a little silver artisan design. And I will test it for that. It's different. Here is another chain. Oh, it's trying to knot up on me too. Ooh, bad. Oh, it did. Boo. Well, anyway, I'm going to show it to you. It's a spring ring class. It's very dainty. Let's see if I can see any marks on this. Let me see, where's my loop? Oh yes, I see marks. One twentieth, 12 karat gold filled. So it's a gold filled chain. Did I show that earlier? I thought, yeah, I showed one, but it was uh, broken. That one's not broken. That one's just knotted up a little bit. Here's two little beads. I'm just going to throw in that jar, that craft lot, and here's another little bead. Now, this is a horse bit necklace uh, layered with 24 karat gold over silver. It's made in the USA. It's by Susan Shaw. It's got a lobster claw clasp, some beautiful shape. Here's your extender, 16 inches. So this is handmade and this is an artisan piece. Very cool. Okay, the next piece is this older piece Looks like milk glass beads and um, Aurora Borealis beads. I think these are not glass. They're acrylic, but it's very pretty. Here is the end. What have I got going on here? What's going on? Who knows? Oh, it's kind of tangled up. Yeah, that's what we got going on here. That tangled up with this one. Uh. It's just stuck in there, and I can't get it out. I have to use my. pliers to get that fixed. It just got caught up in here and it needs to come out. This right here. Right there. Alright, y'all watch me in action here. See if I can get it out. Uh-oh. Did the wrong end. 
a professional jeweler. I am not. Now, did I do the right one? Or did I not? No. Let's see where that one went to. Hmm. It still goes to this. There we go. This is what happens when you do it online. You mess it up. Okay. Give me a hard time. Ah, it came right off. Now let me close that back up so it didn't happen again. Okay. Here we go. Now, what did I do? I got to join this one back up that I messed up. Anyway, guys, what I did here was I accidentally undid it from here, which I can fix right now, which I'm going to fix right now. If I can quit shaking, I think I need to eat some lunch. Now I need to get my grip on things here so I can close it up. Closed up good enough yet. And it is now. That thing's not coming undone now. So the necklace is fixed. It's a beautiful older necklace that I thought was worthwhile fixing. There you go, guys. She's beautiful. She's a statement necklace. Back when, back a few years ago. There you go. That is gorgeous. Love the way they stationed these in there. Gave it like a wave, like, I don't know, water running through. I just love this necklace. Isn't that beautiful? Now, let's see how long it is. I could even wear it. Because I like making an older statement. See, there's 12 there. And see the extender. There's another one, two, three, four, five, six inches. So that would make it 18. And I can wear this one. Yay. Wish I could show you guys. Anyway, maybe I will when I go live and can get on my tablet and do these. i got to clean this out for the, for the craft jar. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have out here. Here's a pair of little earrings that match. I don't didn't find too many matches, I don't think. And they've got something going on here. So I gotta figure out, oh, that's that. Yeah, they need to be clean. They staying out. I'm gonna dig it, divvy these out and come back on. Okay, I'm back, and I'm going to show you real quick. These pieces here are not magnetic, and I believe they're either silver or gold, or gold over silver. And so I'm keeping these pieces for scrap. Those 
right there. Hopefully one day I'll find the match to that one. That's a well-made hoop there. Very substantial in weight. I love this little pearl and that Celtic knot design. This is a little toe ring. And then this is one of those knot earrings. And some little hoops, tiny little hoops. So those I'm going to keep. The rest of this I'm going to throw into the craft lot. This has got little charms on it. I'm going to keep this in hopes I'll find a match. This is pretty. It's a nice earring there. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Susan Shaw piece. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. I'm going to put all this in the craft lot. I'm going to put this little pendant in the craft lot. It's marked $7.99. This little pin in the craft lot. This would make a cute little frame on something. Little flip flop. That's a wine glass. Some nice beads. Hoops. A little man, a cross, and the rest of this. Just give you a quick look here. Here's a bead. Um, all this is going to go into the craft lot. I'm going to do this craft lot. It's got some nicer pieces in it than the last one because we've got some pieces that aren't broken in this one. And I'm going to, like I said, clean that locket out and put it in there. And it's almost, I'd say, this jar was only filled up to here, which is kind of ticking me off. And this was almost half my jar, this craft lot. And uh, I'm going to sell it for $10. And here's a little flip-flop charm, earring charm. And, of course, again, I'll put it in a... Well, I'm going to do actual shipping on it. If I can do it cheaper than a flat rate envelope, I will. So, that's it. If you're interested in it, you know what's in it. It's going to be 10 bucks. And, um... All you have to do is email me at myskywatch.com. Thank you for watching my channel, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!